if this guy was really tight, I might have raised here because he might fold. Um, usually a slightly aggressive player would have shoved me here or raised me here because of how small the guy in second place is. It's like really silly for him to just limp into me. So, I mean, raising, shoving, those are both things that I might consider doing just because of how weak he is right here. He's basically got aces or, or trash M most of the time, depending on his stats. So, I could. It's always the option to go ahead and do that. But he checks to me, so I'm going to go ahead and probably bet here. Nope, I check it back. That was a mistake. Unless I'm really putting him on just the nuts, but I don't think. I can't at this point. He bets out the pot size. I really don't think he has a good hand, and I can't really afford to shove because of the other tiny guys, so I just got to suck it up and call here and maybe make a, a hard call on the river. So he bets out here again. This is the hard call I would have to make. But again, if I call this, I'm not going to be out of the tournament. And... I'm still in competition with the guy in second place, the, or the other guy on the table, to try and get heads up. So I make the call, and he actually did have the king. So the the king pairing on the on the river actually hurt me because it made me think that there's less chance that he actually has a good hand or a king. So his, his limp into me pre-flop with the king was pretty weak. So this player, I'm assuming, is just not a very aggressive player in general. So maybe against that type of guy, if I knew I was playing against that type of guy at the time, I probably should have just checked that one through all the way down, never bet it like I did. Although, when he's betting out, I should probably fold in response. Um, okay, yeah, I'm... I'm the short stack right now because the buttons, uh, the big blind's gonna hit me before it hits the other guy, and we're ha at the same stack size, so I should just shove this here. I got a king; it's a high card. So let's go, and I win that. That's convenient, and he loses there. Nine six, bad hand. Go ahead and fold. Aces, good hand. Go ahead and shove. He folds. That's. A weak, weird, impressive fold. And these are nice and bad hands here. Yeah, there's nothing really I can do in this pot, so... Oh, I guess I called. I have no idea why I'm calling there. Um, I must have assumed he was bluffing, but I have to be willing to call a bet on the river, and I don't think I can, because any river card will scare the hell out of me. <laughs> Unless I just bet out and bluff, I guess. <laughs> um, that worked. I I shouldn't have made the the call. What I'm assuming happened here is I realized after I made this call, oops, I made a mistake, and then I saw the ten. I really and I thought, ooh, I don't really have a chance to win this pot unless I bluff it. So I went ahead and tried to bluff it. But the reality is, I made a mistake by calling the the turn. I should have shoved it if I thought I was ahead or folded. Decent hand. Want to call a shove with it so I don't want to just jam it. So we'll raise it. And usually you want to raise an amount that they're not going to just call. King 8. Yeah. See, now I'm okay with him just calling because my hand is not that good. So you know, I'm just trying to steal the pot or outplay him on the flop. The king eight's a decent hand, so go ahead and raise and he now he three bets me, so go ahead and fold. Yeah, and this is something I will do when somebody's been limping in too much. And if you notice the last hand he well he raised that one. But he limped here. He raised that one. Oh and he also was limping into me earlier on on the final table as well. But this guy had been limping a lot, and he limped one more time, and I have a connected hand, 
the eight is you know kind of a high card it's it's not a low card uh, so I'm looking at 11,000 chips in the pot and I think he's really weak and I want to get give him the message please don't limp on me that much anymore and if he does keep limping on me I will keep doing this so I go ahead and shove and he gives it up and I could have limped this hand honestly I probably should have to be honest just a, a queen is a decent card five is a decent card you put them together you got a slightly decent hand <laughs> um, a limp again so now I want to just raise it oh, that was probably a mistake the idea that I should have went through here is um, I want to do a test raise here raise it up see if he's going to respond to a raise with a flat call if he doesn't call me then I'm probably just going to start raising him instead of shoving whenever he flat calls so this is like a test test hand and if he does have a good hand well obviously I'm okay with it because I got aces but I shove anyways and see here I could raise this but I'm just committing so much of my stack I'll probably just go ahead and stay in line with what I've been doing in this tournament which is shoving and now this hand is not very good so I'll go ahead and shove like my hand is it's not good but it's not terrible I don't want to see a flop I'm all in he got tired of my shoving apparently. <laughs> and now I have five, so I need to raise it really big or just shove. And I just shove. And it's the whole idea of I don't want to see a flop. Same thing with the ace three. Usually flops aren't good for you. He's limping again. I probably don't trust him here, so I could have raised, but I guess I chose to play the cautious route. I'll probably raise here, maybe even shove, but yeah, I just go for the raise. Uh, I'm pretty sure I would have been willing to call a 3-bet shove if he shoves me here, because King-8 suited is really good. I mean, it's good against all the pocket pairs that are out there, except for kings and aces. Everything else that's like a 40% chance to win or more. So it's a pretty good hand heads up, straight up. And against ace x hands, he's got to have ace king or ace eight to really have me dominated. And even if he has ace eight, I've got still like 38, 40% chance to win. So it's not that terrible. Go ahead and fold there. Not a good hand. Okay, so probably I should take this opportunity to do the test raise there we go so now I want to see how he's going to respond to that is he going to flat call me is he going to reshove what's he going to do and he folds so now I know I can do that raise and get him to fold and this is just again trying to just push the situation I've got the lead he continues to limp into me and just give me chips and yeah Nothing really to say about that hand. I, I could have tried to bluff that hand at some point, but it's just not worth it. Playing, being out of position against this type of guy who just plays so strange, doesn't raise. Just shove. Yeah. Uh, the reason why I'm just shoving here is it's because how much is in the pot, and I, I don't want to see a, a flop. I could raise this hand. If this was a worse hand, honestly, I'd be more likely to raise it to 2400 again. If this is like king 8, I'd probably be doing that. But king queen is is just good enough for him to actually call me and I'm still decent against his his holdings. Raise it up. Getting some pretty decent hands here. Now I'm at the point where I'm probably just fed up with this guy. Oh, I let him see a board. That's impressive. <laughs>